It is great for the athletes, amazing for the athletes. You finally can make some bread for being you. The NCAA breaking a tradition that's lasted more than a century, permits students participating in athletics the opportunity to benefit from the use of their name, image, and likeness. Aww. Welcome to this new kind of sports season where student athletes can finally catch up with the influencers. They weren't able to do that for a hundred years. That's a long time. Not because influencer wasn't a thing, it was, but because the NCAA said, no, you don't. The NCAA had long preached that the games student athletes play are the education, and they must not get anything besides the scholarship. No endorsements whatsoever. So athletes couldn't be influencers. Say you're a star quarterback. Congrats. You walk into a bar, somebody recognizes you and gets you a drink on them. That's probably fine and nobody's gonna come after you. But if you start in a commercial, uh, what am I talking about? That wasn't even doable. You have this system where the student athletes are generating a billion dollars. I mean, they're supporting, they're the workhorses. A lot of people will argue about, you know, the, the education and, you know, talk about the food and then room and board, but that's, that's so minuscule compared to what they're helping to generate. All while others around these athletes, coaches, administrators, and uh, broadcasters could sign contracts with astronomical amount of perks. One of the most uh, stunning things I remember about this whole thing was former UConn point guard Shabazz Napier telling Fox Sports that he was not able to eat on some nights, that he had to go to bed starving. That's not something we think of when chatting about star athletes. Here's the thing. Most student athletes are at the height of their fame during college. Very few get to turn pro. In a typical year, a little over 300 young men who play NCAA basketball or football get drafted by the NBA or the NFL. The rest, the like 90,000 of them, don't get to benefit from the sports they're so good at until the 20s. In 2014, a federal judge ruled that NCAA policies against name, image, and likeness violated antitrust laws. In 2019, California enacted the first legislation giving athletes NIL rights. NCAA President Mark Emmert called it an existential threat to the collegiate model. But more than 20 states followed California's lead, forcing the NCAA's hand. And in 2021, a U.S. Supreme Court ruling opened the floodgate. In a 9-0 decision, the highest court backing increased education payments for student-athletes, paid internships, postgraduate scholarships, tutoring, computers, and study abroad, reacting to the Supreme Court's big ruling against the NCAA. This is really important to all student athletes, um, just because it hasn't, you know, no legislation has done this for us um, ever. Unthinkable and inaccessible just last year. We had bipartisan support across the nation. Over 28 states have passed uh, laws to correct this. College athletics in general is a, a long time coming. When I first got in college, I never thought. I would see this day. The day the new rule went into effect, King signed a $20,000 deal with a moving company and a car dealership. He's also co-founded Dreamfield to help athletes connect with NIL opportunities and navigate this new landscape. This just allows us to open doors and start careers ahead of time before the four years are up. Following the Supreme Court's decision, the uh, NCAA released a statement saying, quote, uh, it, that it remains free to articulate what are and are not truly educational benefits, which you know leaves open the question, how would you define it? Do you need a new car to get to class? Is that an educational benefit? I don't know. I think there's a way that we can protect the sanctity of the amateurism while still being flexible and evolving with today's student athlete. I think that's my job as an athletic director, and I hope my peers across the country will join me um, in, in evolving in this space and making sure we do what's actually right.